All right, my eyebrows and I are ready for this girl's night out. <laughs> hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am excited for today's video. It is going to be another BYOP. This edition is all about girls night out, galentines, celebrating the ladies however you choose and I'm excited to get into this one. Now, if this is your first time watching this series, I created this with my beautiful friend Kara over from Beauty and the Frizz, and it was really just a way for us to be inspired to use our single eyeshadows, because I know we both have a lot of them, and we have been lucky enough to have creators hop in with us, like Kendra Morgan Official, so I will make sure to have everyone linked down below who is going to be doing this today, and if you are a creator and you wanna jump on in, please feel free. Now, if you are hopping over from one of the other lovely ladies channels or we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But like I said, we are really just doing this to get a little creative and get a little use out of our singles. And every month we have a theme to our 10 pan palette and we usually announce that in the video so you guys can all get ready for next month. So whether you're a creator or a makeup lover, please feel free to hop on in. Uh, you can tag us on Instagram if you just wanna share your, your shadow, share a look you did. If you are a creator and you'd like to do a video, you can go ahead and add your video to the community playlist down below. Speaking of themes, I'm realizing <laughs> that we haven't picked next month's theme as I'm filming this. So hopefully, by the end of me filming this video, I will have talked to Kara and we will have figured that out. I will be announcing that at the end of this video, whether it is me speaking it to you or me later editing it in. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna get into my 10 pan palette. I am very excited. I was talking to Kara about this and I was saying, you know, I'm really excited that we're kind of doing this like dual Galentine's girls night out, but I do think for me, they're kind of different palettes. So I really tried to do 10 shades that you could get a little bit of both vibes from. And for me, is that just me? Like, let me know down in the comments down below. Do you think you do a Galentine's Day look different than like a girl's night out look? I would love to know how you feel about this, but I did really try to encompass a lot of options in these 10 pans. If you, if you have been here through this BYOP, you will know that just picking 10 shades is very, very hard for me. Like, mm, I'm more of like a 15 pan girl, but this has been a very good challenge. So. Without any further ado, let me just show you my palette here. So give you a little peek. So like I said, I really tried to have an all encompassing palette and I'm very excited to use this one. Uh, I will of course be doing swatches for you. You will be doing a look, which is why I'm here like with these very intense eyebrows. I, I thought I'd do all the things that I feel like you could do more when it's like ladies night, you know, which I feel like non makeup wearing men or non makeup artist men in general, don't always appreciate certain things. Like their vibe is a little bit different and that could be just a generalized statement, but I feel like things like bold brows, bold lipstick, maybe like shiny, shiny highlight, which I don't have on today. Thank you, hormonal breakouts. Uh, <laughs> but I just feel like there's a different vibe. And so I wanted to take advantage of all those things minus the highlight. So I've got some bold brows going. We are gonna do a fun look with this palette, but first I'm going to show you all of the shades, so let's zoom in so we can see them up close. All right, let's get into these swatches. So of course I will also be zooming in so that you can see these up close. So the first one we have here is Glam Shop's Sweet Temptation. And this shade right here is the first one. It's the one that I grabbed first. I was like, I know that I'm putting that one in. And I mean, this is just, this is just Valentine's Day, like, it's girly, I love it. I thought it would be perfect for this. So this I believe is one of the, uh, what were they called, velvet shadows. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the velvet shadows. So when they launched, I, I just thought this formula was so cool. It is like a, I would say a satin base with tons of micro shimmer in it. And usually the shimmer itself is what is like duochrome-y. I really like it. This shade is just so, so pretty. Then next down, we have a shade that I have not used that. I picked this up on Black Friday from Divina Cosmetics. This is Alithia and I just, I love this. It is like a beautiful, like pink with just that touch of red. I put this in here because I was like, yes, Valentine's. And then I was like, as I was going through and adding other shades, I was like, mm, does this work? But I, I really think it does because it's nice to have just a little bit more warmth in with some of these other shades and it creates the option to have contrast if you would like to. This is, I mean, boom, look at that. Oh, 
Mm, I want this as a lipstick shade. Wouldn't that be amazing? I probably have this as a lipstick shade somewhere. Let's be real. So then we have the Sydney Grace shade, The Greatest Gift. This is a very well-known shade from Sydney Grace. I just, I thought this really adds a little something to this palette because you could use this as an inner corner. I mean, you could probably even use it as like a actual like face highlight. It just brings a little bit of like fun, but not too funky to the table here. I really try personally when I'm building palettes, I want some fun pops. And I also want something that can like make a palette feel grounded if there's a day where you just want something like simple and like a little bit softer. And for me, that's what the greatest gift is. It's like softer, but not boring. So then the next shade that we have is one that has been around for a long time, but it is new to me. This was another one of my Black Friday purchases. This is Cream Puff Cuddles from Davina Cosmetics. Uh, <sighs> this shade is so cool. Like I think that this obviously pairs really well with the first one, Sweet Temptation. I mean, this one I think you could use as an inner corner. You could use it all over the lid so much fun you could use it to top some of these other shades it would be a lot of fun to play with so then next see this is exactly why we do these byops because when i flipped this over to look at the shade it so did not sound familiar to me that i was like i don't know that i've ever actually used this other than like swatching it or like maybe just using it once in like a quick hurried look <laughs> this is sydney grace bewitching gaze and this is this is pretty it's just one of those palette staples this is like that beautiful kind of like mauve soft, cooler tone, but not too cool. Uh, yeah, I just, I like it. I think it's, again, like, if you just wanted a really quick, easy, easy to do look, you could do like The Greatest Gift and Sweet Temptation, or even these two would give you a little bit more fun, but it wouldn't be too crazy. So I really love that. Then we have a shade that I've probably popped into a pan before. So uh, I'll talk about this in a moment, but I struggled with this shade. This was the last hole in my palette that I had, and I flip-flopped out like three or four shades. And this is the one that I ended up going with. This is uh, Davina's Desma, and this is this beautiful, so, so pretty. It's like this plummy brown shade, and this is so, so pretty. Like I said, I had another shade. I actually had a shade that was deeper. I cannot remember what shade it was, but it was a Makeup Geek shade anyway, and it was a darker version of this. But what I thought was like, okay, but, I've got Corrupt down here from Makeup Geek, by the way, spoiler, I'm jumping ahead, but like if you really wanted to, you could layer these two together or mix them and you could come up with that darker shade. So I feel like there's more options if I went a little bit lighter with this, but I still wanted to see some really nice depth. So anyway, that's why I chose Desma. All right, so then we're going into Pretties for Your Face. This is Hidden Treasure. This is definitely one of my favorite Pretties for Your Face shades. It is this beautiful, very, very shiny duochrome right here. I don't know if you can see the shift of that, but it is like this aqua with a really pretty, like pink glowy shift to it. It's like pink and then it has like some gold to it. So pretty. And then next we have another Davina matte. You guys know I love my Davina mattes. I mean, I love all my Davina shades, but this is Kadra. Oh, I cannot remember if I had this one before. This might've been another Black Friday one and just this pan, you might not be able to see it, but this is the most saturated yet grungy teal I have ever seen. It's so pretty. They just, they just kill it with their shades. I don't know what to say. So then this beautiful kind of like periwinkle blurple down here is another one of the Glam Shop shades. And this is His Majesty. And I am pretty sure that this is another velvet shade. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it when I do the zoomed in swatches, but this one is definitely shifty in the sparkle. So, oh, I think you can actually see right there because the sparkles, the micro glitter is what sort of like changes shift. And I thought that this was fun because it really has a little bit of the Pantone color of the year that like Perry, is it Perry Perry or is it just Perry? I don't know, but that shade. <laughs> so it just has a little bit of that, which I thought was like kind of fitting for the first palette that we're doing in 2022. And then of course, like I said, we have Makeup Geek Corrupt. I have the original formula. Boy, she is a black one, let me tell you. And I just thought like, if I am going to be doing a girl's night out palette, I can't not do a black. Like a smoky eye, mm, love it. Like I just think like, ooh, this shade with a little bit of this, totally love it. So here are my shades. Let's zoom in so you can see them closer. 
All right, so again, from my wrist, we have Glam Shop Sweet Temptation. Oh, look at that. And then Davina Alithia, Sydney Grace, The Greatest Gift. You can see that has that beautiful, like, soft shift. And then we have Davina Cream Puff Cuddles with that gorgeous sparkle. And then Sydney Grace, Bewitching Gaze. Davina Desma. And then there is Hidden Treasure from Pretties for Your Face. So you can see that shift just a little bit more there. And then that gorgeous Davina Cadra. And then Glam Shop, His Majesty. I'm gonna see if I can like tilt my arm a little bit to try to catch that. Oh, this spot on my like forearm is a little bit awkward. Can I turn it this way for you? Yeah, we're kind of cheating here, but <laughs> uh, Glam Shop, His Majesty. And then of course the last one is Makeup Geek Corrupt. Hmm, I don't know where I'm gonna go. There are so many yummy shades within here. I right away I can I mean this was the first one that grabbed me so I feel like I need to use this one I definitely want to use this one because I'm not actually sure I feel like there are a couple shades in this palette that I haven't touched other than maybe swatching them so I'm really looking forward to using this palette let me know like which way would you go with these shades I'm I'm really excited I am looking forward to getting a little bit more glammed up I really thought like honestly if I was doing like a girl's night out I would do my hair more but today was just one of those days <laughs> today was just one of those days that I thought I'd be filming by 11 a.m and I didn't get started till about 4 30 so by the way everything else other than my eyes is already on my face my lips too but I didn't know where this was going to end up so we'll do we'll, we'll pick out a lip color later but I pretty much just went with uh, things that are in my deck of panning and also my little makeup basket for the week. So if you haven't checked out my deck of panning, that fun little project pan I'm doing, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm trying to use up some of those for the month. So I will have that video linked down below if you haven't checked that one out yet and if you're interested in a fun way to do a project pan that doesn't seem like misery. It's more like fun and magical than misery and a little bit of chance, a little bit of like a game concept to it. But anyway, I'm gonna get right into this eyeshadow look, but that is what I have on my face. I will have the details linked down below for you. I am also wearing the new Salt New York Balm. If I don't have the review up on the Sneaky Balm, it will be coming very soon here to my channel. All right, so I think I'm gonna be brave and I'm just gonna go right in with that Alithia shade from Divina, because <laughs> Uh, I haven't used this one yet. Like I said, it was new from Black Friday. I do have a little bit of primer on my eyes. It seems like this primer is creasing. I will say with that uh, Salt New York Sneaky Balm, you really don't want to get any on your eyelids because it does seem to crease, which totally makes sense. It is like a very emollient balm. By the way, I'm just using some like lavish brush. I probably got this from like BoxyCharm. It's actually not too bad. I mostly just picked it up because of the color. I was like, ooh, this kind of matches the color of the eyeshadow that we're doing. I also cannot lie, I am desperately, desperately in need of cleaning some makeup brushes. I feel like I say that every time I'm doing a video, but it's the truth. Like, I really, really need to do that. I'm also hoping that I've got a lot of sparkle in here. I hope that I can, like, avoid the fallout since I do already have my face done. We'll see. I'm being risky here. Oh. That shade. I am telling you, I'm telling you, if you have not bought a Davina matte, if you have not bought a Davina matte eyeshadow yet, what are you doing? I will have this one linked down below along with all of the other shades. And by the way, you can save 20% if you use the code Keep Beauty Real. I'm just saying. So let's see. Now let's go ahead and go through. I'm going to try to just like blend out this edge. We'll take that bewitching gaze shade, that nice little like mauve -y moment and just like soften the edge here. kind of got a little bit further up than I was anticipating. It's just such a pretty bold shade and it just like blended like a dream. And I, I just got a little carried away with myself. So I'd be curious to know, like I said down below, like what would be your normal like Valentine's look versus like a ladies night out kind of situation? Like, do you have a go-to look for like a ladies night out if you are a lady I'd love to know down below uh, I just feel like I think that I would get a little bit more glammed up for a ladies night than I would like if Jeremy and I were going out for Valentine's Day because uh, I mean he can appreciate a shifty fun like glam look but I think most of the time he likes something like a little bit understated but a little bit special 
especially when it comes to the skin. Like he would love it if I would just like throw on some eyeshadow mascara and like keep the skin bare probably, or at least something that like looked bare, which is, you know, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm not looking too made up here, right? Like, I mean, I've got quite a bit of glow. I might end up adding a little bit of powder after I'm all done, but in case I needed to add like a little bit of a <laughs> of concealer to hide a, to hide a eyeshadow gone wrong situation, I just wanted to like leave my options open. All right, we have an almost up to the brow bow moment going on right now, and I don't care, I'm not mad at it. By the way, I was using the Refer 14. We might pull her back in. But now let's do a little shimmer. So I'm definitely going to take that first beautiful sparkly shade, Sweet Temptation. So I'm taking a little silicone applicator and I'm just going to pop this on. I think we'll do like the inner part of the lid. Oh, this shade is so pretty. I probably could have used a glitter glue, but I'm living dangerously. However, this was girls night out, you know you know that I would be adding a glitter glue just so this could last. So what for you would be like the perfect girl's night out? I have to think like for me, it used to be like going out for drinks, going to dance. I love dancing. Like I, I love it. I have not done it in a very long time, but I would say like my friend and I, we would go out probably if not every weekend, like every other weekend to go dancing. Now granted, that was like many moons ago, many, many moons ago, but I do love a good dance moment. Jeremy likes to dance too. We haven't, I don't think we've ever gone out dancing. I know this is like, this is ladies night out. This isn't like Kelly and Jeremy, but like he does like to go dancing, but we've never actually gone dancing. We've danced at like weddings and parties or whatever, but, but it's not like I've really been to a party or a wedding in a long time either. So this is all just, you know, <laughs> yester times I feel like. But for me now, I feel like, would I wanna go out dancing? I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know, dancing in a place that isn't too packed. That's the thing for me anymore. Like I don't want a lot of people. It used to not bother me at all. Like I don't care how many people there are, I would do it. But mm, now I'm like, ooh, I don't want like strange sweaty bodies touching me. <laughs> like, no, no. Uh, that, that does not sound good. So now I'm just taking that shade, uh, His Majesty, and we're popping that on the outer half. Oh my God, this shade is so freaking pretty. And by the way, I totally have like a line down the middle. I'm going to be correcting that with a brush in just a moment. Uh oh, friends, we did get a little bit of fallout, but I'm going to try to fix that in just a moment. So I am just taking, I'm gonna take a wet brush here. I know I went through with like the product dry before, but I feel like to like merge these two together, I don't, if I'm like shimmying a brush at all, I just want it to be like damp. <laughs> I just don't want it to fall all over my face. And I already do have like a decent bit of fallout. So I'm just kind of going over that shade. So this shade definitely has like a shift, whereas the Sweet Temptation shade has more of like a sparkle. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is go over this with that sparkle. Already, I pro well, I probably shouldn't say it because I don't wanna jinx myself because I feel like when I say something like this, then I'm gonna like totally goof this look up. But already, I feel like this is one of my favorite looks that I've done from this series. Just these colors are so pretty, yeah. So see, as I like start to blend these two together, I'm using that Sweet Temptation shade and just like, for lack of a better word, like smushing a little bit um, on a wet brush over the area where I have that darker His Majesty. Okay, sorry, I got into the blend. I got into the blend moment and needed to focus on that. All right, I do feel like I'm going to have to end up like wiping a little bit and I'm, I'm not too upset at that. I have to say like, I feel like my concealer is really creasing. So I don't know if my like combo between the Sneaky Balm and the concealer just isn't like blending very well. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect and I feel like it's like creasing really bad. So that's fine. I'll just like wipe this whole area and like fix it in a little bit, but that is fine. We'll just keep moving on for now. So I am gonna use just a little bit of the black of that Makeup Geek Corrupt and just kind of like fill in these edges here. So as I was saying, I feel like 
now my perfect girls night out would be yeah I mean like maybe somewhere where you can like get some dancing in but also not too crowded and you know you could have a glass of wine hang out a little bit not have too many creepers coming up to you <laughs> does that exist let me know <laughs> so I just like tapped my brush very lightly into that corrupt and then I actually like wiped it this brush off on a towel just so I could like use it semi-clean and kind of like come through here to blend some of this out and I'm coming back through with the brush that we had that pink on I'm not putting any product on there I'm just kind of like blend 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 working the two together so I'm just gonna go with this for a while but my under eye situation is like really bothering me so once I get this blended out I'm just gonna like wipe this away we can clear this glitter fallout and the creasy under eyes and we'll be back to finish the rest. All right, when in doubt, Paloma out. Seriously, I, I just can't get away from the Stay Woke Concealer. Every time I try something else other than like maybe my Maybelline Fit Me, I'm just like, ah, I look like I have 70 year old eyes. Uh, this Conceal and Perfect, I f let me know. If you've tried this, do you find that it's like drying and also creasing? I might just keep it around for some blemishes, but like, I, uh, I'm not I'm not using it on my under eye anymore. I might just use it as like an eye primer, but if it makes my under eyes super creasy, is it gonna do that to my eyelids as well? Quite possibly. Anyway, we're not here about concealer. We're here about eyeshadows, which I am loving. I'm loving this look and we're going <laughs> to move on. So uh, I am going to take Cream Puff Cuddles. It's that beautiful like shimmer shimmer from Davina. I don't think I'm gonna use it wet though. I think I'm just gonna use it dry and pop it on the inner corner. Oh, can you see that? What? Oh my gosh, okay. So here is the point where I'm like, don't do your under eye. Like, like don't do it. Don't mess up by like doing something to your under eye that you wish you hadn't done. That is usually how I roll with this. Ah, okay. I was kind of hoping to use the shade, but I don't think I want to because I think if I blend it out too much, it's gonna to be too gold. And I don't really, I really wanted to use the green. See, that's the thing when you use a 10 pan, but if you use all of them, you're gonna look a little wackadoodle. All right, we're not going to. We're gonna play it safe because I just love this so much. Uh, I'm gonna go through with Desma and just like do that in a really fine line underneath and then smoke it out probably. So I'm gonna use this and then probably just like smoke it out a little bit with that. This Makeup Geek pencil brush is like the tiniest little pencil brush I own. So I saw that Makeup Geek came out with a new eye set. I'm very intrigued. <gasps> Oh no, I was supposed to be using my Lara Faye brushes. I said that's what I was gonna do in this video. I even got them. I had them downstairs from doing the unboxing on Instagram. And dang it. <laughs> I had them downstairs and I even grabbed them and then I forgot because I they're sitting right here. They're sitting right here and they're bright ass blue. They're beautiful, bright blue. How I miss them, I don't know. Well, if you saw what this vanity top looks like, uh, you would know, but. Dang it, all right, well, I guess we're gonna have to use these in a different video in the next day or two, so. Sorry, Lara Faye. I mean, I bought them, but like, oh, dang. Okay, I love this Cream Puff Cuddle shade so much. I'm gonna just try to like wedge a little bit right here. I'm so glad that I bought this shade. All right, sorry if that was a little bit dark there. Uh, also, sorry if you guys are hearing the noise. <laughs> Jeremy and his son just got back from doing their snow removal route and this house is always the last on the list. So they're gonna be doing that, which means this is a perfect time for me to go and uh, put on some mascara. Girls night out definitely means some lashes. So I'm gonna throw on some lashes and I'll be back. All right, back with some lashes on. Also just went ahead and threw on a lip. Uh, what did I use here? I used the Juvia's Place liner in Love Me, which I think is very fitting. And then the uh, Fenty Beauty gloss. This is from one of obviously the Glossy Posse sets and this is Pretty Please. So I thought this was very, very fitting. It's got that little hint of pink, but it's not like so bam pink. 
So what I thought I was gonna do is use this matte lip crayon uh, from my deck of panning, but I feel like it's just gonna be too much. But I think what I'm gonna do now is, cause I feel like I want it even a little bit more plummy. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in. All right, I don't know if you guys can even see that. I can see it uh, and that's what matters. It definitely has like just a little bit more of that like berry tone to it. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna know what lashes I threw on, I just threw on like a little whack of the telescopic carbon black mascara and then I went through with my Giddy Lash from Moxie Lash. So these are just, they're kind of like cross hatched and they're a little bit wispy. I really like them. And uh, I did go through with a good hefty dose of liner from uh, Kat Von D. This is now of course KVD, but this one's so old that it still says Kat Von D. So this, this I'm using up, I feel like it's actually pretty close to being done. So hopefully I'll be able to use it the full five times for my deck of painting. So, all right, I do have to say that this is officially my favorite look I've done in this BYOP series. And I've done a couple that I've really enjoyed, but there's just something about this. I really enjoy it. You'll have to let me know down below what you think. And as usual, I am going to leave this palette out for a while. I'll probably leave it out at least until Valentine's Day so I can use it a few times and do a couple looks. I will make sure to pop those over on Instagram. So if you aren't already following me over there, you can follow me at Keep Beauty Real. I would really love that. Uh, I have really been enjoying getting to chat with all of you a little bit more over on Instagram. And like I said, you'll be able to see more looks using this palette. I definitely need to go through and use the ones that I didn't use. So uh, I could do like a little natural moment with some of the ones that I was talking about. I definitely think like these two together would be very pretty. We've got a lot of options in this, at least I think so, but I'm a little biased, it's my palette. So I wanna make sure that all of you go over and check out the other wonderful creators doing this. I will have Kara and Kendra's channels linked down below. I cannot wait to see their palettes. It's so fun doing this to really see like the vision, the creations that other people do. I love it and the ladies are both totally awesome and they have some awesome singles. So again, if you would like to join in next month, I did talk to Kara, <laughs> next month, we are going to be doing a like lucky palette, a green themed palette. I'm very excited because I feel like most people really do love a good green eye look. And so this way we'll be able to like draw some like pre-spring vibes out, if you know what I'm saying. So that will be the theme for next month. If you wanna join in, uh, we always upload on the last Thursday of the month. I shouldn't say always, that would mean that we're like super pro YouTubers. <laughs> we almost always upload on the last Thursday of the month. And again, make sure you tag us on Instagram or here on YouTube so that we can see your looks. And again, I will have that community playlist linked down below if you do create a video. We're really enjoying this and hope that you are all as well. So that is it for today, lovelies. Thank you so much. I'm excited. I feel like I need to do another video just because like, I need to keep this eye look on for a while. And by the way, Jeremy just got home and he was like, oh, pretty. He's like, where are you going, Vegas? And I was like, yeah, Vegas for a girl's night out. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me and I'll see you really soon.